All right, well, just imagine this for a moment. Two weeks of your rubbish piling up outside your home, young families with multiple kids, babies, nappies and food, the stench spilling onto the streets. No thanks. Well, that's about to become reality for residents in Sydney's inner west as council overhauls when it collects the red bin. Joining us is former Randwick City Councillor Harry Stavronos now. Harry, thanks so much for your time this morning. Your local council implemented this red bin rule many years ago. Was it a good idea? Look, uh, Sarah, I'll be honest with you. I never liked it at all. And the reason I never liked it was because I know here in Randwick, we have a very high turnover of uh, residents. Every three to five years, 40% of our residents move out of the area, which means that we're constantly having to educate. Mm. Uh, we're going to have to constantly educate our residents about uh, ways, of, you know, how to separate their waste. And, uh, and I could tell you now, the cross... Uh, there will be a huge level of uh, cross-contamination. That's been a very big problem. Uh, you know, uh, which bin do you... You know, where do you put your waste? Which yeah. bin? Is it the red bin? Is it the green bin? Is it the yellow bin? Um, look, the council will try and tell you that it's been a successful uh, yeah, program, that they're saving 1,200 tonnes of landfill every month. Hmm. Uh, I live in a unit block uh, with six other uh, units here, and uh, it's only my wife and I who actually use BOGO, the... Food Organics and Garden Organics program. Every other resident here just throws their rubbish wherever they like. Mm. Uh, and I can tell you it's not it's not going to work the way they think it will. Yeah. And it will add to the cost of rates because waste disposal contracts will go up in price. Mm. I mean, Harry, you're overall there talking about a change in resident behaviour, which is something very difficult, as we know, and this is something that's happening in councils right across the country. But with a hot summer coming up, I mean, this could really stink. If you've got nappies 20 a day... It's a nightmare. Even if you do change your habits, where else are you going to put your rubbish? Look, uh, Sarah, I can tell you, I've got a 14-month-old son and he goes through uh, nappies like water. <laughs> and, uh, you know last this summer, well. Yeah. And last summer, um, we had a very big problem with maggots. And oh, um, I was constantly out there um, spraying, uh, you know, spraying the bins, cleaning them out. And um, also, you will have uh, rodents, mm. uh, you know, like uh, rats and other vermin coming there. So... Look, uh, and, the, and the smell, I can tell you, it's no perfume factory. <laughs> it's, it, it will stink. And, look, it, it's something that I don't like. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, rubbish, it, it's council's responsibility to look after grassroots local government mm. issues, roads, rates and rubbish. Taking away uh, or minimising the, the rubbish collection is not something council should be doing. And, uh, look, I, I think it's not the right approach. Uh, you know, if they really want to, uh, you know, save the planet, they should be looking at uh, educating residents in ways in which they could uh, improve on their recycling, uh, you know, j just doing things a little bit differently. But cutting back on rubbish services is not the right way to go. Yeah, oh, you sound a bit like your poster back there. You're dirty on this, aren't you, Harry? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> Why aren't you in council anymore, mate? What's going on? Look, um, I ran at the last um, council elections and I just missed out on being re-elected by 62 votes. Uh, I could have gone to court to challenge the decision, but at the time my wife was uh, pregnant for our first child and I didn't want, uh, you know, to burden uh, mm. our family with, 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 you know, with this. So, um, look, I will be running again. Yep. Uh, uh, I, I want my enemies to know that I will be running again, <laughs> and uh, and, I, and I will be I will be running hard, you know, to get re-elected because uh, I do uh, I do you know the yeah. whole purpose of being in local government is to look after the, the residents. Uh, you put your self interests aside and you look after the community, mm. and that's what I'd love to do. You know, All if right. I get the opportunity to be back there again. Look out, Randwick, Dirty Harry is making a comeback. Geez, he looks like Ray Romano's <laughs> brother, uh, and everybody <laughs> loves Raymond. Uh, <laughs> you've been told that character. before, big guy. <laughs> yep. Robert, Robert, yeah, big Robert. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> and can I just say, I've, you know, having had a couple of kids in my life, um, like you can Your have 20 or 40 come. nappies, dirty nappies in a bin mm. in one day. In one, exactly. Well, Harry knows about Just it too. Just pick up the rubbish and fix the potholes. It's really very simple. Not hard. Mm -hmm. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?